All right, so as we've been talking about uh, another proof of impropriety by the TMC MP Mahua Moitra, and this is an impropriety that uh, she has tried to deny and sidestep repeatedly. At the center of this entire controversy, we talk about with Mahua Moitra is the main question. Did she actually give her login and password to another person to upload in the parliament questions? And after Darshan Hiranandani confirmed this in his interview two times now, it becomes all the more important because had the leader, had the parliamentarian signed on those papers, and if we talk about exactly what does the rule say, the rules that clearly suggest if you go to the NIC, website and NIC which is the National Informatics Center it says that the users are requested to keep and uh, the given user ID and password a secret a secret that becomes all the more important so had she actually given it full faith when it comes to Darshan Hiranandani to actually use her parliament login ID and password and that to overseas to be used to type those questions that she may have taken up in the parliament against the Adani group that becomes all the more important as far as the terms and conditions are concerned it is a very clear on what is to be shared and what is not so is it that when it comes to by not doing so that the account may be compromised by hackers and can be also used for sending spurious mails on the account behalf, the account holder's behalf. That becomes the major question as far as the BJP MP Nishikan Dubey has been raising, especially when it comes to compromising national security integrity. Those are the questions that are now being raised by the BJP MP. Had she known about this, because there is a signed form, if she has signed on it, and there is a parliament login and ID that was given to her when she became a member of parliament, and with few knowledge, with few knowledge, uh, Pranesh, that becomes all the more important. Did she violate those rules that were set in by the NIC? That's the question. And uh, going by the document that we've accessed, this is the NIC rule book, uh, and it's all there in black and white. You referred to the document. Let me quickly deep dive into it so that viewers understand the context we are talking about. This is page number two of the NIC rule book. Look at the header here. It says email terms and conditions. And let me run you through some of the points. Before we come to point number three, let's look at one and two. Users are requested to keep the given user ID and password a secret. Please change your password at least once in every three months. Here's point number three, and this is the most important. By not doing so, by not doing what? By not following point number one and two, the account may be compromised by hackers and the hacker can use the same account for sending spurious mails on account's behalf. NIC is neither responsible nor accountable for this type of misuse of the compromised mail accounts. Gross misuse might be detected by the automated uh, monitoring tools, which in turn will automatically deactivate the account. Now what I have here is uh, the full set of rules and regulation. There's another page that a member of parliament, after he takes oath as MP, has to meet the NIC team and then fill in the pro forma. The pro forma has uh, details of name, address, uh, other important things. And at the bottom of that page, there is a place where the member actually gives an undertaking that, yes, I, I, uh, I promise to adhere by these rules. Hmm. Now, in this case, Mahua Moitra, clearly is in violation. Now, when Nishikan Dube made this charge, Mahua Mutra put out a tweet, uh, Amita, and she said that I dare the NIC and the government to release login location details of all MPs. Now, even if other MPs are in violation of this rule, that does not make Mahua's violation any lesser because to start with, it is a clear violation of the rule number three. It says the users are requested to keep the given user ID and password. Why did Mawa share the user ID and password? This she will have to answer when she meets the ethics panel. Right, Pranish, thank you very much for that update. And uh, let me go across now to Pragya joining us live because Pragya, what Pranesh has been talking about, and this is something that Mahua Moitra was forced to admit to it as well. But she said that there is no rule against doing so. So today we are actually coming out with a proof that actually there is a rule and apparently now she stands in violation of breaking that rule. 
Absolutely, and National Informatics Centers is an authority that is entrusted to uh, take all the data, store all the data related to government websites, and in fact, they are responsible for all the government websites. So basically, NIC before giving out logins, before saving the members' data, they give out form of terms and condition that everyone has to sign. They have to abide by; otherwise, they cannot be part of that NIC. Now, as a member, you are part of that government website. Uh, so basically, uh, what Mahu. Mahua Moitra is saying that uh, every MP does that what she did. She is not in a denial. She allegedly, uh, you know, uh, said that uh, every MP uh, does what she has done, and she challenged everyone. In fact, we have to see what Mahua Moitra did. NIC report will also be coming as Ethics Committee has returned to Meti uh, Ministry, IT Ministry, in fact, saying that they want details and whatever transpired between Hiranandani and Mahua Moitra to uh, reach a conclusion in this particular. Inquiry. Uh, what uh, you know, the, the complaint against Mahua Moitra is that uh, there is a, a threat to national security because she, in fact, allegedly shared her member login ID, Lok Sabha credentials with an external entity. Now, this unauthorized access given uh, to an external authority also poses challenge because this Lok Sabha website and other websites they have sensitive data and possibly. Classified data, in fact, and unauthorized access might undermine the policy decision. Uh, and the policy is that the government of India will and may be undertaking and can be uh, exploited uh, by that external entity. So this is the premises on which the complaint is based. Mm -hmm. uh, she might have to come clean on that when ethics committee. Uh, uh, pre she is in fact called before someone before ethics committee on October 31st. Though she has said that she could not come before November 4th. Uh, Due to her engagement in her already, uh, you know, Lok Sabha Assembly, uh, but it is yet to be seen what is uh, that she would come with and the arguments she will give about uh, giving out login ID if that is the case as alleged in the, this particular complaint, right. and what is the defence that she will be giving in defence of that? Because earlier they were saying that there are no rules and terms and conditions. It's a, it's a fresh, it's a new case. Uh, there is no precedent to such cases, and. Uh, they were saying uh, the, part, the side of the Mahua Moitra unofficially, in fact, off record, was saying that there have been no rules and regulations regarding sharing of mem member login ID. Few of the MPs, in fact, off record, made a comment saying that we share it with our staff. And also, uh, there are LAMP uh, associate as well hmm. who are working closely with them. Hmm. However, those who are, who have made a Raghya, complaint, they said, with us. "Let's get our political voices on this Times Now exclusive." Shahzad, good morning. Times Now has accessed the form that is given by the National Informatics Centre under the Department of IT to all of the MPs. They have to fill this form, sign it, especially when they are given a Parliament ID. And the point number one clearly says that the users are requested to keep the given user ID and password a secret. Now, how does the story unfold? You see, what Mahua Moitra is alleged to have done based on two confessional statements is not just a violation of parliamentary ethics and parliamentary procedure, but it's a clear case of quid pro quo corruption, an attack on financial and national interest, and also, more importantly, a compromise and complete egregious compromise, compromise of our parliamentary security system, wherein she has handed over the login to an entity who is based on foreign soil. Now, can we be sure that this was not further handed over to some entities enemical to India? Clearly, a huge question mark on the national security compromise, the parliamentary security compromise that Mawa Mutha has done, and therefore, she should be taking up ownership of this and resigning till the time the inquiry is done, or the TMC must be taking a stand against her. But the TMC says no comments. So when the TMC says no comments, do they say because they know that she's done something wrong? Then why aren't they sacking her? Or are they hand in glove with what she has done? Hmm. But uh, thank you, Shazad, for that point of view as far as the BJP has been claiming right now because this leaves no doubt at all that the password and the login is not meant to be shared with anyone. And that is exactly what Mahua Moitra did. So what does it mean? This simply means that the conditions of using an MP login has been violated. And by sharing a login, Mahua Moitra has breached the basic security conditions that were signed by her under oath. We'll also get you the details exactly now as far as uh, the onslaught is concerned on part of the BJP MP Nishikan Dubey.